Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Precious one. It is written in the book of Psalms, chapter 62 and verse 5. The word of the Lord says that my soul wait thou only upon God, for my expectation is from him. Psalm 62, verse 5. My soul wait thou only upon God, for my expectation is from him. The Lord will give you a positive surprise. The Lord shall intervene in your affairs. The Lord shall interrupt and interfere with any negative trend in your life and rewrite your story and change your story for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. On this note, I want to specially welcome you to another insightful and powerful edition of Rising with Jesus, the program that God has designed to draw you closer unto himself and to give you advanced victory. And I want to encourage you not to watch this program alone. Anybody that is important to you, anybody that is valuable to you, or anybody that you love, make sure you call the person on the phone or wake the person up to join you and enjoy these blessings from the Lord. And also be reminded that this show is on your favorite television, Precious television. Amen. I want us on this note to appreciate God and to say thank you to the Lord and give him all the glory and praise for all that he has done in your life. You cannot say God has done nothing for you. The Bible says that I slept and I awaked because the Lord sustained me. The reason why you have been able to wake up is because there is somebody who is sustaining you. There is somebody that is strengthening you, and that is the Lord. And so lift your voice now and bless his name. Lift your voice now and glorify his name. Lift your voice now and appreciate him. Let God know that you are appreciative of what he has done in your life. Lift your voice and let's bless the name of the Lord. Let's give him all the glory. Let's give him all the praise. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we hallow you. Father, we enthrone you. Father, we exalt you. Father, we lift you up on high. Father, receive all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we are not taking for granted all that you have done for us. We appreciate you, Lord. You are the source of our life. You are the source of our strength. You are the source of our health. You are the source of all the good things that we enjoy. We thank you so much, Father, that you have delivered us. You have preserved us. You have protected us. You have secured us. You have sustained us. Receive our thanksgiving, Father. Receive all the praise in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Precious one, for some time now, we have been talking about trust in God to triumph. Trust in God to triumph. And we have learned that when you trust in God, it is for your own good and it is for your own advantage. We have also learned that when you trust in God, you, you activate the power of God in your favor. You stimulate God's hand and God's grace on your behalf. We have also learned that there is no way you can trust in God without connecting with his word. The word of God is the stimulator of your trust in God. Anybody who is disconnected from the word of God cannot truly trust in God. And so before you can trust in God, for your trust to be fortified, for your trust to be strengthened, for your trust to be revived in God, what you have to do is that you have to go to the word of God. You have to be connected to the word of God. And the word of God will empower you to trust in God and God will act supernaturally in your favor. Anybody who trusts in God has confidence in God. Anybody who, who trusts in God is absolutely dependent on God. Anybody who trusts in God is always relying on God. When you trust in God, it means that you are expecting something from Him. If you expect nothing from God, you can't tell me you are trusting in God. That is why we read the earlier scripture that said in Psalm 62 verse 5 that my soul wait thou only upon God for my expectation 
is from him. This is the pronouncement of somebody who is truly trusting in God. My soul, wait thou only upon God. For my expectation is from him. I pray that every expectation you are having from the Lord will be speedily released for you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the book of Psalms, chapter 5, verse 11, it says that, But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. But let all that trust put their trust in thee rejoice. Yes, you cannot trust in God and suffer sorrow. Once you are full of trust in the Lord, you shall be full of joy. Your trust in God will stimulate joy in you. If you are not trusting in God, you are full of uncertainty, you are full of sorrow, and you are full of disappointment. When you trust in, in the Lord, the enemy cannot silence you. When you trust in the Lord, sorrow shall be terminated from your life. When you trust in the Lord, you shall be defended. Your trust in God stimulates divine defense for you. When you trust in God, God will ensure you. Your trust in God will make sure that God will repel every danger that the enemy is sending against you. Once you are trusting in God, God will make sure he watches over you. You cannot trust in God and be abandoned. You cannot trust in God and be endangered. You cannot trust in God and God will forsake you. It will never happen. Once you trust in the Lord, the Lord will, will fortify you supernaturally. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in Psalm 7 it is written, That, O Lord my God, indeed do I put my trust. Save me from all them that persecute me and deliver me. And so once your trust is exercised in God, God will deal with your persecutors. The powers assigned to persecute you, the forces assigned to afflict you, the agencies assigned to torment you. Once you trust in God, God will deal with all of them in the name of Jesus. The one who trusts in God, forces of persecution are prohibited from persecuting him. You cannot trust in God and God will allow the enemy to harass you. You cannot trust in God and the enemy will be bothering you just like that. You cannot trust in God and the devil will just be molesting you. Once you are trusting in the Lord, the oppression of the wicked over your life shall be broken. Once you trust in the Lord, every satanic force that is pestering your welfare shall be broken. Once you trust in the Lord, every tyranny of the wicked forces over your life shall be neutralized in the mighty name of Jesus. Christ. I'm telling you today if only you trust in the Lord, every pursuer shall be swallowed up from your life in the name of Jesus. When you trust in the Lord, the enemy cannot victimize you. I am encouraging you today to put your trust in the Lord instead of putting your trust in the arm of flesh. In Psalm 17 verse 7, Psalm 17 verse 7, it is written that show thy marvelous loving kindness. Oh, thou that savest by thy right hand them which put their trust in thee from those that rise up against them. There are powers that rise this up against you. There are invisible forces that rise up against you. There are satanic forces that rise up against you. But once you are trusting in the Lord, God will rescue you from the powers that rise against you. God will bail you out. God will ensure your total liberation from the forces that try to chain you. And God will recover you from their tyranny in the mighty name of Jesus. I am praying for you today that every evil hand that is trying to limit your destiny and to confine your progress. I pray that they shall be broken in the name of Jesus. In Psalm 18 verse 2, it is written that the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. Once you trust in the Lord, he becomes your rock. Once you trust in the Lord, he becomes your fortress. He becomes your stronghold. Once you trust in the Lord, he becomes your deliverer. 
Once you trust in the Lord, He will make sure that you are strong and you are not feeble. Once you trust in the Lord, your salvation is guaranteed. It is your trust in the Lord that stimulates divine security for you. May that become your portion in the name of Jesus. In Psalm 18 verse 30, the Bible says, Psalm 18 verse 30, As for God, His way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. Once you are trusting in God, that trust will occasion divine armor over you and around you. The trust that you have in God will make God to shelter you and to make God to safeguard your destiny and your well-being. In Psalm 21 verse 7, it is written, For the king trusted in the Lord, and through the mercy of the Most High, he shall not be moved. Yes, even kings are expected to trust in the Lord. That's what the Bible said in Psalm 21 verse 7, that the king trusted in the Lord, and through the mercy of the Most High, he shall not be moved. If you are a king, you must trust in the Lord. If you are a ruler, you must trust in the Lord. If you are reigning, you must trust in the Lord, because your trust in God is what provokes the mercy of God for you. Once you are trusting in God, it makes you unmovable. It makes you unshakable. Once you are trusting in God, there is no way you tremble before the opposition. Your trust in God will ensure that you don't waver and you don't fall. If you can exercise trust in God through his word, no power can displace you. No power can replace you. No power can shift you from where God has assigned for you precious one the word of God that you are hearing and the word of God that you believe is what empowers you to be able to exercise trust in God it shall not happen by your might it shall not happen by your power but it shall be effected by the word of God. The word of God is the principal stimulator of trust in God. Once you throw away the word of God, precious one, you are disarmed and you are demobilized. I pray that the grace to connect with the word of God, the grace to believe in the word of God shall come upon your life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in Psalm 22 and verse 4, it is written that our fathers trusted in thee. They trusted and thou did deliver them. You cannot trust in God and be vulnerable. You cannot trust in God and be exposed to the adversary. God will make sure that you are protected and you are secured. In verse 5 of Psalm 22, it is written that they cried unto thee and they were delivered. They trusted in thee and they were not confounded. Yes, they cried unto thee and they were delivered. They trusted thee and they were not confounded. There is no way you trust in God and be confounded. He who trusts in the Lord shall not be confused. Yes, when you trust in God, God will bring you divine direction. Your trust in God will make God show you what to do and the next step to take. There's no way you can be perplexed. There is no way the enemy can bewilder you as long as you are trusting in God. Uh, When you trust in the Lord, uh, no power of wickedness can entangle you. Uh, When you trust in the Lord, uh, your future will be certain. Uh, Your trust in the Lord uh, will ward off every agency of the enemy that have been sent to trouble you. I release upon you in the name of Jesus Christ the grace and the special grace of the Lord uh, to enable you to trust in God as never before. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in Psalm 25 and verse 2, it is written, Oh my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Your trust in God will terminate every triumph of of the enemy in your life. Your trust in God will erase every shame that is dancing around you. Your trust in God will establish your victory over the opponent. Your trust in God will Facilitate your glorification in the name of Jesus. In Psalm 25 verse 20, it is written that, Oh, keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed, for I put my trust in thee. Once you are trusting in God, it will neutralize the forces of shame from your life and bring supernatural glory into habitation in your very destiny. In the mighty, mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Psalm 26, 
6 and verse 1, it is written that, Judge me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity. I have trusted also in the Lord, therefore I shall not slide. Therefore I shall not slide. I have trusted in the Lord, therefore I shall not slide. Once you are trusting in God, once you are relying on God, once you are depending on God, you will not slide. You will not stumble. You will not sleep. As you trust in the Lord, as you believe in the word of the Lord, no power of the enemy can lower you. No power of the enemy can downgrade you. No power of the of wickedness can degrade you. Because the trust of the Lord shall lift you above the barriers. Your trust in the Lord shall lift you above the opposition. Your trust in the Lord shall make you superior to the limitations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Psalm 28 and verse 7, it is written that the Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoiceth and with my song will I praise him. You cannot trust in God and be helpless. I said you cannot trust in God and be helpless. That help you are expecting is coming right now. Supernatural assistance is coming right now. Supernatural support is coming right now. Where you thought the door is shut, the Lord is opening a new door for you. Where you thought there is no hope, God is making a new way for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, once you are trusting in God, you will not complain and you will not murmur. Anybody that trusts in God is not a complainer, is not a murmurer because he knows that the Lord God Almighty will turn his situation around and rewrite his story. Precious one, there is no way you will remain the same. I see something new happening in your life. I see a new chapter being opened for you. At this juncture, I want to encourage you to reconnect with Jesus Christ. If you have not consciously surrendered your life to Christ and if you know that you have been distanced from Christ, I want to pray with you right now for you to surrender your life to Jesus or to rededicate your life to Jesus. So pray with me right now, wherever you are watching me from. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you for your word. I have come to you as I am. Forgive me for your name's sake. Wash me with your precious blood and come into my heart. Be my Lord and my Savior and transform my life and fill me with your spirit and cause my life to be a testimony to all those who know me. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for answered prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, precious one, your life is never the same. A new beginning has started in your life. Wherever you are, I want you to begin to appreciate the Lord. I want you to begin to thank the Lord. I want you to begin to give him glory. I want you to begin to give him honor. Thank him for the words you have heard. Thank you for the, for, for the way he has opened your eyes through this message. Lift your voice and thank him right now. Appreciate him that he has spoken to you through this message. Lift your voice and thank him in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for this word. Father, we thank you for this word that has come to rescue somebody, that has come to set somebody free, that has come to change somebody's level. I bless you for the viewers. I magnify you for their lives, that their lives shall never remain the same. Receive all the glory and receive all the praise. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, amen. You are going to pray today, even before you set out. You are going to pray. You are declaring that I resist the counsel and strength of the wicked that is warring against me. In the name of Jesus, you are declaring every counsel, every counsel and strength of the enemy and of the wicked that is warring against me. I resist you in Jesus' name. I resist you in Jesus' name. Lift your voice and pray. Every counsel and strength of the enemy waging war against you. I resist it now. Lift your voice and resist it now in the name of Jesus Makato satire every evil counsel every strength of the wicked worrying against the well-being of these viewers they are declared resisted in the name of Jesus they are declared overpowered in the name of Jesus evil counsel satanic strength militating against any of the viewers viewing me right now I command all those evil counsels bound in the name of Jesus I command satanic Satanic strength, uh, diabolic strength, uh, warring against these viewers. Uh, I command those strength neutralized uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Matakasokaluza, uh, Randobasakata. 
Lito brazante, rei kapata kalia brasata, meka bata kalia bra. He will counsel us attend to foolishness. In the name of Jesus Christ, make a city. Every strength of the wicked and the opponent is paralyzed from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, mika tusa, rei babata kasoko, le babe teke le brazanda, molo doze, meka takala sataya. Lizo brazito, rei kabata kalia brazande, molodo zika, ye babata karabada basonta, rei kapata, lito rombo zando rombo zande, let the evil counsel fall before you, in the name of Jesus, let evil strength warring against you disappear, in the name of Jesus Christ, a new strength is coming to you now, in the name of Jesus, counsel of the Lord is prevailing in your life is prevailing against satanic counsel is prevailing against contrary counsel in the name of jesus make it a randa basata rabade let contrary counsels uh, that are contrary to your welfare right now be buried in the name of jesus uh, be neutralized in the name of jesus uh, be overturned in the name of jesus christ matu say a rose kele badaswa rando mosaka Kopataka swaka le babe te kalu in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, mighty God. You also want to pray and declare in the name of Jesus that my Father arise and defend me against every opposition. My father arise and defend me against every opposition. Lift your voice and pray now in the name of Jesus. Father arise and defend them now against every opposition. Opposition in the family, opposition in the career, opposition in the business, in position, opposition in the workplace, opposition in the community, opposition in the marketplace. Arise and defend them against every opposition in the name of Jesus. Father, defend these dear ones against verbal oppositions, against physical oppositions, against spiritual oppositions. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, whatever represents a opposition eh, to their progress eh, to the advancement eh, and, and to their expectations eh, I command eh, every of such oppositions eh, to bow before them now in the name of Jesus to crumble before them now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Zaya, Aro Bada Babasata, Miko Sakalu Zande, Araba de Babasataya, Muludi Zate, Araba da Babazadea, Maladaba Sota Roma no Satea, Maikata Calibra Zanto, Molodazia, Maladaba Sa. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Mikataka, Arasa Kataka, Liko Pasaya, Milidu Zaya, Arakataka Libreze, Molodo Zeto Romo Saya, Malanda Babazo Te Remosa, Mikota Kalika, Re Babata Kaluzege, Luzota Roma Masike, Me Katakala Kakwa Kasoka, Alo Zibro Zeko Liabra Zande, in the mighty, mighty name. Of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord my God. Finally, you want to pray that in the name of Jesus, let all my persecutors be disbanded. Let all my persecutors be disbanded. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice and pray. Yes, let all my persecutors be disbanded. Every secret persecutor, every open persecutor, right now, every diabolic, mischievous persecutor, persecuting any of these viewers, they are commanded disbanded. I command them scattered. In the mighty name of Jesus, Brazaga, Logo, Zigo, Zo, Moludasia, Rando Bacasso Calio Brezege, in the mighty name of Jesus, I paralyze your persecutors. In the name of Jesus, I disarm your persecutors. In the name of Jesus Christ, Miketeke Lizo, Araba de Babasota, I humiliate your persecutors. In the name of Jesus Christ, Miketeke, Arosi Bota Calia Braza, Me Babata Calia Brazanto, Moluka. 
Sakataya, Randa Baswaka, Lando Basata, Rama de Babaya. I overpower your persecutors. I bind them and I cast them out. I declare them dismissed in the name of Jesus. Milusa, Areke me sete rema mosaya, Randa Bakwata Kalia Brazanda. I command angelic ministrations for you. I command angelic assistance for you. I command heavenly support for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Zibo Zite, Reba Deba Basataya, Malaga Zakatakaya, Ranto Mako Sotoyo, E Meteke Reba Deba Baswataya, Reka Paswata Rabade, let every taskmaster over your life, over your destiny be broken perpetually be destroyed totally in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we call it that thank you mighty god lift your voice and thank god lift your voice and appreciate god thank him for answer to prayer thank him for answer to prayer thank him for answer to prayer father we thank you so much you are faithful god yes you have never turned away the prayers of your people yes you answer the prayers of the poor you answer the prayers of the small and you answer the prayers of the great thank you lord for your faithfulness thank you for the blood that is paving the way for your people i give you praise lord in jesus mighty mighty name amen precious one i want to pray with you if you are sick in any part of your body lay hand where you are lay one hand where you are hurting stretch forth the other hand towards the screen I shall pray with you right now. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for your healing power. I take authority over every spirit of sickness and disease, harassing any of these viewers. You spirit of sicknesses and diseases, afflictions, aches and pains, hear the word of the Lord. Be bound in Jesus' name and come out of their lives right now. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, come out of their head, come out of their eyes, come out of their neck, come out of their spine. Come out of their of their waist. Come out of, of, of their knee. Wherever you are in their body, I chase you out in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus Christ. From the top of your head to the sole of your feet, be made every way whole right now. In the mighty, mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Check yourself. You realize that God has touched you and you are never the same. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want to invite you to our two services at the Perez Dome. From 6 to 8:30, and from 8:30 to 11, you can you can attend any of those any of these services. The one that is most suitable for you and conducive for you, I we are specially inviting you to come. And if you, you have any Perez Chapel in any of your localities, we encourage you to attend. And your life shall never be the same. I want to introduce this powerful book to you, written by my dear Bishop Bishop Chasejinasari. Power demonstration understanding the holy spirit and his gifts power demonstration you want to walk in the power of god you want to begin to uh, demonstrate the power of god in your life and your personal ministry this book will unveil all the secrets unto you i encourage you to call the numbers on the screen get a copy for yourself and for your loved ones and i tell you your life will never never be the same until i see you again tomorrow my name is reverend david kakati remember this is rising with jesus and god has affected your eyes god bless you